Hello, hello. Happy, I've forgotten what day of the week it is already. The next question that I got was about opt-in boxes. How do we make them stand out? How do we get people's attention? And I'm going to share with you something that I learned um, from one of my friends. And that is, I was using my um, opt-in boxes. I was using my branded colors. I was using my normal pink and gold and blue. In case you guys don't know what my brand colors are, here they are right here. These three colors right here, these are kind of like my branding colors. I was just using those or I was using a white background and having it stand out. The problem with doing that, the problem with having a white background on your opt-in boxes is that it's really easy to scroll through a blog post and ignore them. It's really easy to overlook them and not see them. And so what you want to do is have them stand out is have it not read like an ad or just like something else inside of your blog post. So the way that I do it is through kind of making it stand out. So if my colors, if my branding colors are this hot pink and like, oh, cat, <laughs> take two. If my branding colors are hot pink and like this bright blue and this goldish mustardy yellow, then I wanna make sure that I'm using green to make it stand out on my page because that will stop the scroll. Especially when it comes to opt-in boxes on our blog posts, this is something that we all have to remember is the goal is not necessarily, you don't have to like convince people to buy buy from you. You just want people to stop the scroll long enough to see that they're getting something for free. You want people to stop the scroll long enough to see that you have something to offer them that's going to help them, that's going to get them closer to where they want to be, that's going to give them the answer to a quick win that they have, that they want, that they need. And so just objectively looking at things, you want to use something that is going to stand out from the rest of your page. So if you have, um, like if we're talking, because for whatever reason, my brain goes here. If you have like a yoga studio or something, or if you talk about yoga and meditation and calm things, you probably don't want to use hot pink, even though it is still calm and it would stand out. That's not exactly the vibe that you're going for. So you might still want to use something. Maybe it's this kind of muted green palette. This was the color palette, I think, for the March templates for CES, or maybe it was April. I can't remember. Um, but like those kinds of colors, they're still muted. They're still kind of chill. They're not as aggressively in your face as the hot pink or the aqua or the yellow or whatever it is. Um, so that you can actually use this and still catch people's attention, stop the scroll, get them to read it long enough to realize that your freebie is amazing because I'm confident that your freebie is amazing. One of the biggest things that um, when I have a new client, what they tell me is like, people aren't signing up for my email list. I must have a terrible freebie. Nobody likes my stuff. I must suck. That's the path that a lot of our brains go down when we're talking about having an opt-in box inside of a blog post. And we're like, no one's signing up for it. They must hate what I have to offer. I really worked hard on this freebie, but I guess I have to go back to the drawing board because nobody likes it. Nobody's buying it or nobody's signing up for it. Usually that's not the case. Usually the issue isn't that your freebie sucks. Usually the issue is that people just aren't seeing a place to sign up for it. That's what it keeps coming back to. So if you're struggling with getting people to sign up for um, an opt-in on your site, change the background color before you change anything else. If changing the background color, if making it go from, if because let's do, we're going to duplicate this bad boy. We're going to change this to, oops going to change this to white. Okay. Which of these are you more likely to see on a page? Which of these is more likely to stand out on a blog post where the majority of the background is white? Which of these are you going to see and actually stop on? You're going to see this one and you're going to stop on it. And you're going to be like, Ooh, tell me more. I'm ready to hear more. Tell me more. I must know more versus this one where if I'm looking for it, I can see it. But if I'm just like a normal person, I'm just going to scroll right past it. I'm going to miss it entirely. You could be offering me a brick of gold. And if I can't find it on your blog post, I'll scroll right past it. So if you're struggling with um, getting people to sign up for your email list and you're like, I have a post or I have an opt-in box inside of my post. I don't know why people aren't seeing it. Start with 
changing the way that your opt-in box looks. Change the background color. And if that still doesn't work, if you're still after like a thousand impressions saying like nobody's signed up, then we can talk about, well, maybe your headline isn't catching the attention. Maybe you're saying the you're not exactly targeting your people's pain points. You're missing part of what they're struggling with. You're not addressing what they're struggling with. Your title is very descriptive, but not sexy. So what I mean by that is like, um, if I have a an ebook, five ways to save money. That's so boring. And that's coming from like me, like I've written an ebook that has that title. That's not what people want. What do people want? I changed the title of that same ebook to $300 in 30 days. People want, that's a, that is a sexy title. That is a sexy title. That is going to stop people's scroll. That's going to make people go, I want $300 in 30 days. How do I do this? And it's really the same content. It's teaching you how to save money. It's teaching you how to cut corners on bills or whatever. It's just the way that it's presented has changed. So start with the colors, then go to the headline, and then change the title of the book or the freebie, whatever it is. That's the order of chain, working around with your opt-in boxes to see what's going to work and get more people to sign up. Continue to have fun, continue to learn. And that's how you learn is through having fun. So I hope that that made sense and I hope that it helped. And thank you for being here and I will see you guys around. Bye. Bye.